Hello. Hello there. Uh, we are back. We are back on the streets again. What day is today, honey? 19? 19. 16. We arrived here. 17. 18, 19. So this is our second day here in in Canada. And every day we go out shopping. We've been shopping twice already. And now, actually this is our third day already. Because when we arrived here it was very early in, early in the morning at 2 a.m. So we are, we already reached our house in Nipua and now we are going to Brandon to buy some groceries and other kitchen utensils to use because you know when my husband was living alone he had only a few pieces of them just for himself naturally he wouldn't buy a dozen what would he do with a dozen when he's alone and even if he knew that we were coming still he waited for us to, to come because he wants me to decide on um, what things to buy because he thinks that this is um, a woman decides best on what would be good for the house so we are still here on the prairies. I told my husband, I think um, if the plants haven't been harvested, it would be beautiful. And he said, yes, it looks good. It looks beautiful when, because actually the plants here are, this is sunflower plantation and wheat field plantation. So it must be very beautiful. The, so that's what these are my first impressions of my three days here in Canada the streets are very wide and uh, there is no traffic because it is imposed that cars should run at 100 miles per hour to avoid traffic so that's minimum otherwise you will be accosted by the police so look at that straight ahead we don't see any car I find Canadian houses to be beautiful uh, I find them to be uh, cozy dainty cute I like to live in it so uh, last night we went to see a house talk to the landlord i actually want to live there immediately but then he said ah yeah in my previous vlog he said that he will prepare first the house to be livable so maybe on the first day of june we'll be able to transfer I like it because it has a very wide yard. It's good for the children. It's quiet. Okay, so actually I am vlogging because I feel sleepy. Uh, my children are there sleeping because our bodies are still used to Philippine time. We slept at 3 a.m. this morning and woke up at 8 o'clock so now we are feeling sleepy so maybe it will take us a week to adjust to our body clocks so my husband also cannot sleep at night because we are still noisy we're not sleeping and so he is also feeling sleepy so I said if you really feel sleepy, then you have to stop driving. Okay, so 
I will have to stop talking because he he, say, he says he needs music so he won't feel sleepy. Okay. Until next time.